pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the January 23rd, 2017 meeting of the Shawnee County Board of Commissioners. My name is Bob Archer. I currently serve as chair of the commission and represent District 3 alongside Commissioner Shelley Bueller, who represents District 1 and Commissioner Kevin Cook who represents District 2. Good morning. Good morning. First item please. First item is item 1, proclam <coughs> excuse me, proclamation of presentations number 1. Quarterly update on Vallejo Behavioral Health in Health Care Inc. Bill Persinger, CEO. Morning, Mr. Archer and uh, Commissioner Bueller and Cook. Uh, so I haven't uh, led a Pledge of Allegiance since uh, grade school, so I, I'm, I'm glad I jumped in there and was able to do that. Thank you very much. It's an honor. Uh, another honor that we would like to bestow on the uh, commission this morning is a plaque uh, commemorating our gratitude for your support. Uh, you know, increased funding notwithstanding, uh, which was awesome. We appreciate that. Uh, county commissions have been a part of uh, mental health centers in Kansas since the early 60s. Uh, in particular here in Vallejo, it's our 50th year to have a relationship uh, with the county starting in 1967 under a different name, of course. Uh, if the commission uh, would uh, be okay with that, we'd like to have our board president, Frank Henderson, present you with a plaque. Um, might also ask each of our board members this morning, we have four of them here, if I'm counting right, stand up and introduce themselves briefly. Good morning, Commissioners. Frank Henderson, current chair of the board. Mike. Mike Wilson, uh, secretary of the board. Dick Klein, vice chair of the board. The next generation. <laughs> Just a board member. <laughs> so I might, uh, I might defer now to uh, Chairman Henderson if you all wouldn't mind uh, maybe uh, accepting the plaque now and maybe, uh, maybe a photo opportunity. Why don't we? Yeah. Well, at this point, I guess I will use the mic, and I want to read the wording on the plaque. As Bill had expressed, we are extremely grateful for your support of Vallejo Behavioral Health Care. It's been a challenging year this past year with the decrease of funding and uh, resulting in decrease in staffing and reduction in services, and we've always tried to do the best we can with what we have, but it means a lot to have the support of the commission. To the Shawnee County Board of Commissioners, Bob Archer, Shelley Bueller, Kevin Cook, with our most sincere and deep appreciation for your ongoing support of and belief in the mission of the public mental health system. As partners, we seek to eliminate stigma and promote recovery and independence for persons who have mental illness and or addiction. We are truly energized by your care and concern for services that help create health, family unity, decent housing, vocational success, social connectivity, and continued education for consumers of behavioral health care services. With much gratitude and with great respect for your work in public service, we, the governing body of Vallejo Behavioral Health Care, say thank you. Mr. Chairman, with your consent, I may just uh, defer to the written report that I've uh, provided and uh, might skip down real quick through the topics if there are questions. And then the uh, unaudited uh, income statement as of 1231 is also presented for your review. But uh, just the basic topics would be our grant writing and fundraising activity. Most recently, a $55,000 uh, grant from the Zero Foundation uh, in Oklahoma to purchase a specialized lift van, which we bought here in Shawnee County, of course and uh, very, very proud of our relationship with the auto dealers here. They've done a good job for us over the years. Osawatomi State Hospital continues to be a challenge, but we're turning that <coughs> challenge uh, into opportunity for us and our consumers and the community. 
and uh, just had a really good year with our employee giving campaign in 2015. All the employees gave a total of just over 16000 Last year, it was a just over $25,000 from all the employees, and so uh, we appreciate their support as well. Then I'll just defer to the financial statement or um, back to the written report if any of you have questions. We'll be glad to stand for all, all the time that you need. I don't have any questions. Okay. Okay. Good. I, Commissioner Good. Cook? I don't have anything. I just thank you very much for everything that you do sure. in the community, and we really appreciate all the work that you do um, to help those that are in need. Thank yes. you. Well I agree, and obviously mental, mental health in our community is one of the biggest challenges we face uh, going forward. But I think the, the partnership that we have with Vallejo is, is invaluable in meeting that challenge. And, and thank you for being here this morning. Pleasure. Uh, thank you for continuing to be our partner in, in this challenge. I just want to add, too, we, we like seeing you, Bill, mm -hmm. but Pleasure. it's great that you also bring your board members it is. Um, yeah. as well so that you see that this is a community effort. Um, thank so thank you oh. yes. for taking the time out of your schedules. I know you're busy. We just wouldn't be there without you folks, and we are surrounded by excellence. Thank you on your side and theirs. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you right. again, Bill. Next item, please. Item two, under proclamation presentations, update on Shawnee County Emergency Communications Center, Sheriff Jones. Good morning, Commission. Herman Jones, Shawnee County Sheriff. Uh, as we had discussed uh, from previous time there, just trying to give a uh, just periodic uh, update on what's going on with our communication center there. Over time, uh, quite a bit has been, go uh, has been uh, some actions have been taken forward to, to progress with the uh, improvement of the, the communication center. One is, not long ago, we came to you asking for a new position for a, a training of a manager, uh, a training manager position there. Uh, we're in the final position to select an individual uh, for that, so that's probably within this next week, probably by the time I would get back to the office or so and look at those, uh, we'll probably have that done. So in the process of that, we're looking at uh, uh, of hiring some new uh, dispatchers probably within the next couple of weeks or so, which will be uh, put forward why we want to have that training. Uh, position there so of that of having a class of new employees we're actually going to have an academy a little small academy where we put uh, new employees through about four or five weeks or so before we put them on the floor uh, I think this will be uh, will show that we'll have much more success on the front end as well as on the back end of that right there so so that's what we have we're also looking at some new positions there of call takers and this will be a position that's a little bit different than what we have is a full-blown uh, communication specialist, whereas this is individual, was, their job is dedicated specifically taking the information in and disseminating it over, and it goes over to the, uh, to the uh, communication uh, specialist there. So uh, of that then, we're in the process, we're, we're, we're uh, working with uh, the union folks, the CWA, as well as uh, uh, HR, uh, and creating this position or so. Uh, so far we've had some, some good con conversations and good talks with that there, but just trying to finalize those, those type of things, and hopefully we'll have that done here within, uh, oh, uh, within a month or so, I would hope. Um, and then along with that, we've been working with uh, the City of Topeka's their legal department, and what we find is, is facilitating records research for their legal purposes there. What happens is many a times that will bog down our, our staff of doing some research for their legal, for officers needing for court and those type of things. So we're trying to work through some, some uh, a, a different format or a different way that we can do this to at least alleviate some of that, those responsibilities of our folks to allow them to do uh, their jobs of working at the radio and then also at the same time working for their needs uh, through the legal side of uh, the city. Uh, coupled with that, uh, we've been working with uh, Topeka Police Department's record in that they do a lot of research uh, through our communications there. So we're kind of working through doing some collaborations there uh, to alleviate some of those uh, strains that we have on our communication specialists there. Uh, and then one item that, that comes in, we've had some collaboration between our county and our city animal control officers there. What we have is the city officers, uh, the city communication folks now will have uh, the, the, uh, 
the advent of having a MDT or a mobile data terminal in their vehicles. Therefore, they can take recalls, take some of their calls by way of the computers versus over the radio, which takes up a lot of the uh, airtime. And, and from that then, working through new policies and some other things. So uh, I think I interrupted a couple of times where we had, uh, they had some training going on with the city and some of our folks uh, on accounting there. So there's been a, a tremendous amount of collaboration and, and communications that's going on, uh, trying to get some things done. Uh, just kind of give you, I know uh, Commissioner Cook, you've, you've really been interested about the hiring process and what we have and status. We're looking at, right now we have about 22 full-time, uh, which is about the same of what we've had right there. But like I said, we've got about four or five that'll probably be coming on uh, here real soon. Uh, 22 uh, full-time qualified communication specialists there. Uh, five of those and five individuals are trainees currently. So we have those. And then we have seven interim, uh, intermittent employees. So these are individuals that kind of come in a, on an emergency basis or so when they can fill in uh, for that purpose right there. Um, so any and all those that's pretty much the progress that we have right there i know that uh when we have amr that'll be coming on board they've they're coming in here before long some things have been kind of a little delayed as far as trying to get their uh, uh their computer system set up where it integrates into our system there uh so i, I believe that's pretty soon here within another month or so that 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 will be a reality of coming in or so Anyway, that's that's pretty much in in a nutshell of what we have right there. Seeing some some good uh, conversation going on, or so. Uh, open up for any questions or anything you might have for me. Commissioner Bueller, do you have any questions for the sheriff? The uh, transition <clears throat> with AMR, any concerns? That I know you said as far as no, I I, I don't have personnel or anything. Uh, one one item that uh, that we did see, which. It, which which happens, I, I believe. There, we we did lose one of our communication specialists that is actually taking a job with AMR. Okay. Uh, so, how how that will work in the future, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's it's an opportunity for employees. It's it's right there in our in our yard where individuals can see those type of things right there. But uh, uh, as far as AMR, I believe John Atrams here. He could probably speak better to, as far as his his staffing and those type of things right there, but uh, that just becomes one of the avenues and one of, one of our circumstances that we'll have to keep track of. Okay. So. Thanks, Commissioner Cook. Yeah. I don't have anything more at this time. Just to <clears throat> sure if you could continue to keep us updated. I yeah. think this is an issue that all of Shawnee County wants to know about. I I get asked about it quite frequently from individuals in the community <clears throat> wanting to have follow up just to make sure that. This issue is being addressed. Sure, Commissioner Archer. Yeah, uh, and and it sounds like you're taking the appropriate steps as far as reorganization, personnel, the things that need to be done to to assure the public uh, that the dispatch center is is on the job. Oh, yeah. So I, I appreciate that. I don't know if John or anyone else wants to make any comments uh, at this point. <clears throat> Commissioners, good morning. Uh, John Antrim, Operations Manager from AMR. Um, spoke with Commissioner Cook uh, last week about the presentation today. I figured it would be a good time for us to give you an update about our transition into the Communications Center. Currently, we have eight full-time employees that are hired. Uh, they're in week three of their, of their academy, like uh, Sheriff Jones spoke about. Uh, we run them through an academy. This week, they start their emergency medical dispatching portion of it. Um, things are transitioning very well. Um, as far as we did have some issues with the IT department and the ability to tunnel into their VPN and get through their firewalls. Uh, I believe as of Friday, that was actually corrected. Um, so I do have people that will be coming from our National Communications Center to actually start setting up some of our stuff this week uh, and testing the system. So things are transitioning very well. You know, one of the things that was discussed was the competition between Shawnee County and AMR employees. And when we were putting the contract together, one of the things that we wanted to do is try and avoid that. So in an attempt to do that, we basically mirrored the pay scale so that we wouldn't come in higher than the other employees uh, or than, than your guys' pay scale in hopes that that wouldn't be quite so enticing 
for, for people to jump ship and come to our side. So uh, we are working very closely <coughs> with, with the sheriff as well as Jeremy. He's been excellent. Uh, communication has been well. Um, working on policies and protocols and those sort of things, but uh, very excited about the transition, a little nervous about the transition. Um, we have eight brand new employees, with, with the exception of the one that has some experience, thank you, Sheriff, um, that's coming to work for us, but other than that, I, uh, it's, it's gonna be well received, so. Do you guys have any questions? Thank you, any questions? Well, I just, you might wanna point out eight <coughs> new employees, but they don't all work at the same time. They're on shifts, correct, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll staff two, two employees 24 hours a day uh, inside of the communication center. Thank okay. you. Commissioner Cook? I don't have anything. Thank you, John, very much. Okay. Yeah, thank you for the update, and thank you, Sheriff. I appreciate it. Next item, please. Item two, unfinished business. Number one, consider authorization and execution of of contract C20-2017 with Falk and Architects, Inc. to provide space providing uh, space planning support services at the Courthouse North Annex Election Office and former fire station located at 1715 Southwest Topeka Boulevard. Good morning, Commissioners. Bill Kroll, Facilities Maintenance Director. This item was on the agenda last Thursday, and uh, we had in inadvertently forgot to put the cap on the contract, as Commissioner Cook noted. Uh, that has all been taken care of at this point, so it's there for your review and approval. I will answer any questions if you have any. I have moved for approval at this time. I'll second. You added it in bold. Text, <laughs> so I, I didn't. Uh, John, Jonathan did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'll second. Uh, motion to approve the contract by Commissioner Cook and boldly seconded by <laughs> Commissioner <laughs> Bueller. All in favor say aye. Opposed say no. Motion carries three to zero. Thank, Thank you, you, Bill. Next item, please. Item three, consent agenda. There were two items on the consent agenda. Can I? Move approval. Second. Motion made to approve by Commissioner Bueller and seconded by Commissioner Cook. All in favor say aye. Opposed say no. Motion carries three to zero. Next item, please, ma'am. Item four, <clears throat> new business. A, county clerk number one, consider all voucher payments. Mr. Chairman, this morning we have vouchers that total $479,607.25. Uh, there are four things that I'd like to highlight this morning. One is from the Department of Corrections with its uh, acquisition of some sound products of $185,064.40. Health insurance of $104,969.16. Public Works, uh, SALT, $37,546.87, and then holding accounts with the state of Kansas of $36,557.25. And I would move for their approval. I have no questions. I'll second. Okay. Motion made to approve the vouchers uh, by Commissioner Cook and seconded by Commissioner Bueller. All in favor say aye. Opposed say no. Motion carries three to zero. Next item, please. Item A2, consider correction orders. Move approval. Uh, I'll second. Motion made to approve by Commissioner Bueller, seconded by Commissioner Archer. All in favor say aye. Opposed say no. And that motion carries three to zero. Next item, please. Item B, information technology. Number one, consider authorization and execution of contract C22-2017 <coughs> with Software House International for McAfee Gold Business Support for McAfee and Endpoint Protection countywide computer virus control software at a cost of $14,535 to be funded from the 2017 Information Technology Budget. Good morning, Commissioners. Pat O'Blander with the Information Technology Department. Uh, this item for you this morning is the renewal for our virus protection system. Uh, it's um, something that's relatively critical these days, uh, so we definitely want to keep up to, up to date with that. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer that. Questions? Um, we have approval of the contract. Second. Motion made to approve the contract by Commissioner Buer and seconded by Commissioner Cook. All in favor say aye. Opposed say no. Motion carries three to zero. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Next Commissioner. item, please. Item C, facilities maintenance <clears throat> number one. Consider approval of request to accept proposals from Furniture Mall of Kansas to provide and install Mohawk carpet and Johnsonite Cove, cove base for the remainder of the calendar year for the rema remaining floor flooring replacement projects in information technology, suite 200, the juvenile DA suite, 
County Counselor Suite 100 and the County Clerk Suite at a cost total estimated cost of sixty thousand dollars to be furnished from deferred capital maintenance. Good morning, Commissioners. Bill Kroll, Facilities Maintenance Director. This item um, in 2016, we agreed to stick with the price that um, <coughs> Heartland or Cartland Furniture, Furniture Mall of Kansas had provided us uh, at. 255 per square foot on the carpet materials and an average cost of 261 per square foot for installation. They have continued to move forward through this building doing really, really good work. Um, like to stick with them and they have agreed to maintain that price from 2016 to 2017. <coughs> Answer any questions you might have. I will mention that I uh, talked to uh, Betty over the weekend, and this this is this was shocked last year. We yes. we went out to the uh, to vendors and yes, and we did made sure that we were getting the best deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's I'll correct. make a motion to approve the request. Okay. Second. Motion made by Commissioners Archer and seconded by Commissioner Bueller. All in favor, say aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries three to zero. Thank, Thank you, you, Bill. Next item, please, ma'am. Item D, County <clears throat> Counselor Number One, consider approval of request to add the Director of Administrative Services to the Professional Services Committee. Good morning, Commissioners. Jim Crow, uh, Shawnee County Counselor. On December 29th, <clears throat> the Board issued an RFP um, seeking proposals for management and operation services for the Kansas Expo Center. This item is a request to add Betty Griner to the committee for consideration of that one particular RFP, not the professional services committee in general. Um, normally the, the sitting professional services committee contains four members, the Shawnee County Counselor, um, Tom Block, Director of Public Works, Director of IT, Pat Oblander and Bill Kroll, Facilities Director, and then normally also the department head or elected official of the department that's issuing the RFP. Since this is for management services of the Expo Center, um, we have an additional space on this particular committee uh, in order to break a tie, in order to have expertise in financial issues, which would be beneficial on this particular RFP. Uh, we're requesting to add Betty Griner to this committee for consideration of this RFP. And I'll be happy to answer any other questions. Any questions or comments? I'll move for approval of the request. Second. Uh, motion made by Commissioner Bueller to approve. Seconded by Commissioner Cook. All in favor say aye. Both say no. Motion carries three to zero. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. And thank you, Betty. Next item. <coughs> item five, administrative communications. Good morning, Commissioners. Kerry Golden, Director of Golf, Shawnee County Parks and Rec. Uh, just want to let you know we're going to have a public engagement meeting to discuss the cart paths at Cypress Ridge Golf Course, the back nine cart paths. And that meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, January 31st from 530 to 630 at Cypress Ridge. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. As an avid golfer, I hope Tim will be there and uh, publicize this in the Capitol Journal Hall. So it's important, I think. Uh, next, yes, Hans. Good morning, Commissioners. Hans Niska, Director of Operations at the Kansas Expo Center. Just wanted to give a quick update on the uh, Expo Center uh, this last weekend. Had <coughs> a uh, good weekend for the Roadrunners. They swept both games uh, this weekend, and the season-high crowd on Saturday night was there to enjoy it. So that was exciting. We also had the U.S. Weapons Collectors Gun Show, um, which was very well attended. And uh, also the San Sebastian Festival was held in Egg Hall this weekend. So... It's a uh, busy weekend this last weekend, and we're going into another busy week this week. We're going to be transitioning from ice on Thursday to a Harlem Globe Trotters game on Friday night. So that'll be exciting for all the families in Topeka to come out and see the uh, legendary Globe Trotters at the Expo Center. And then we'll go back to ice, uh, a quick transition back to ice and Roadrunner hockey games on Saturday and Sunday night. Uh, they have been rescheduled from the original schedule that was released, obviously, because of the globe Globetrotters date. So that's important. Everyone notes that the uh, games are Saturday and Sunday this weekend instead of Friday and Saturday. S Sunday's game is a 2 o'clock game, um, which uh, Sunday games traditionally are. Um, so exciting, exciting week again at the Expo Center. Just wanted to update you on that. Okay. Thank you for the information, Hans. Thank you very much. 
Anyone else for administrative communications? Okay. Commissioner Bueller? Um, just a reminder, I'm sure all three of us will be going to Kansas Association of Counties and the League Municipalities are hosting local government day mm -hmm. at the Capitol on Wednesday. And so I think there's lots of activities starting later in the afternoon going into the evening. So. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I don't have anything additional. Okay. Well, I don't either. Uh, next item, yes. please. Item six, executive session. There is a need uh, for an executive session, and I'll make a motion. We go into executive session uh, for a period not to uh, exceed 15 minutes, and the subject will be discussion of non-elected personnel, and that's a motion. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Archer, seconded by Commissioner Bueller. All in favor say aye. Opposed say no. Motion carries. Three to zero. We are in executive session for 15 minutes. We are back in session, no action, uh, and we are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>